Hi, I'm Kazaya, and I'll be your guide as we look at how to use the check-in stations in Church Community Builder. There are two types of stations we will look at. The man station allows either a staff or volunteer to check in people, as well as giving them limited admin features. The self-check-in is available in our deluxe package and allows a person to check their self in and print out labels. Let's take a look. If you would like to set up a station that allows you to check into multiple services, this is available only in our deluxe package. Otherwise, the rest of the features are available in both versions. You can find people by entering their name, their phone number, or scanning their barcode. Remember, if you are entering their name, you don't have to enter their whole name. The same is true with a phone number as you can enter just the last four digits if needed. If multiple people match your criteria, the system will show you a list of possible matches. Select the right family and check in the family members. If you have the deluxe package, you can select the person's name a second time in order to check them into another service. If there are family members marked as other, you will need to click the link More Family Members to see those people. Once all people have a check mark that need to be checked in, click the Finish button and the labels will print and you will return to the home page. With a man station, you do have several admin options in working with a family. Let's take a look. First, you always have the option of overriding the number of labels printing out. This is great too for reprinting labels if needed. At the top right, select Edit Family to make any changes to the family such as adding new family members, adding any allergies, or updating contact info. Make sure to click Save All when you are done. If you're using barcodes, you can either add a new barcode or change any existing one by clicking the Edit Barcode button and scanning the new barcode. Also, if both parents want to have a different barcode, you can accomplish this by clicking the Edit Family button and then click on each parent and the barcode image. The Add Message button allows you to enter a family message for the check-in station operator to see. This message will display any time that family is brought up on the screen. This is where you can inform your volunteers of any special needs or security information about the family as well. If you have selected text message paging in your setup, when you click Finished, the text message screen will display asking which parent to text. You can select one or both parents. Both a phone number and mobile provider is needed to use this feature. Use the other option for a one-day temporary person to be texted for emergencies. In order to text someone through the system, click on the Send Text icon at the top right and type in the name of the child. You can then enter the message to send to the parents. Click Send when you are finished. Use the Add Family icon at the top right to add a new family to the system. The first step is to enter their basic information and search for duplicates. Once you have checked for duplicates, you can click the Add button, enter all the family information available, and click Save All. You will then be taken to the screen to check in the family. The Reports icon shows you a list of three reports, four if you have the deluxe version and use the checkout feature. Click on a report to open it up. You can use the buttons on the top right to narrow the results and print the results to a printer. One thing to be careful of is to not run this report on a check-in station, as the default printer is your label printer, and it will print the report on your label printer. If you have the deluxe version of the software and set up a self-check-in station, you can search for people either by the full phone number of the person or by barcode scanning. If you enter a phone number and there happens to be a duplicate in the system, it will ask the person to enter their name. If the system still cannot determine who the person is, it will direct them to a man station for help. A self-check-in station will only pull up the one family and will never ask the parent to make a choice of who they are for security reasons. Once the family members are on the screen, select the people to check in. You still have the option to click a second time to bring up and select a second service if needed. Once you are done, click Finished. If the safe setup includes text message paging, the parents will be asked 
who to text in case of an emergency. They will have the same options as in the manned stations. One note about security, a parent label will only print once per day on a self-check-in station. If a parent needs a reprint, then they will need to go to a manned station. Use this feature to put into place whatever security features you need at your church to verify the parent's identity before you reprint a label. As you can see, there are many features to the check-in station. Our goal is to give you a quick check-in process that still has security and admin features available to you. For more information on check-in, see our other videos and help articles. Mm -hmm.